and he's always been a character in our mind that could be expressed beyond the game constructs. There's something interesting here because it is a, a really crazy story about how she becomes who she is. She loses everything, but then gains her own self-confidence in what she's capable of doing. We've never had an opportunity to go deep into who Annie really is before, why she's such a troubled, pained, and tragic character. Annie as a character has this dark side of her. She is a little evil. Very little and innocent girl. And so a lot of people underestimate her. She really stands out with her character, with her look and Tibur, of course. She is this tragic character with these very dark powers. She'll burn you and laugh while doing so. Anthony had a really cool idea on her origin stories, how she became who she is to help people understand the soul of Annie. If we told that story for the Annie that we have in game right now, just evil kid that has fire, I think that makes Annie's story flat. We wanted to expand her world. A lot of her power comes from her emotion and sort of depth of pain and anguish. Tibbers is central to that power. Tibbers was a gift from her mom, kind of the last tangible memory and connection she has to her real mom. We want to portray this child side of Annie, and that's why we set on this painterly and fairy tale kind of style. It looks like a painting coming into life. How much can we make Annie's story feel like a child's fairy tale, being told back to you in a medium that is appropriate for that? We've never done anything like this before. There was a lot of R&D that required actually a team to spend quite a bit of time to like figure out the look and feel. We tested out motion capture initially, and then from there, we started with 2D, but just didn't really work well for our project. Why don't we just paint every single frame? Realistically, if you were to paint 24 frames a second, you need like an army of people to be able to do something like that. We're talking in thousands upon thousands of hand-painted frames. The problem is, how do you build a character that looks painterly, but is still able to give you a performance that is realistic? We've seen full 3D CG content before. We wanted something that just looked unique and something that we could call our own and live up to an Annie story. I pushed to use realistic 3D and then making it to look painterly. I want to be sure that the end result is looking more handcrafted. We start from our foundation, which is producing the actual 3D animation that you'll see that feels flat but gives us the emotion. So we project this flat image onto the 3D model itself. Now, that one 3D character has this texture on it that feels painterly. And then finishing it off with the painterly cell animation on top to give it life. All right, so we'll, we'll start here. They should be like 40% smaller. So I think just a tree on the right is too low. The perspective that everyone has of Annie is her in-game. So let's bring it out. Let's see how much of that personality we can get out of it to incorporate what we know of her, including her abilities. So for instance, burning her sister, you know, that's her cute. Setting fire to her room, you know, that's her shielder. So I'm hoping that when you do use your R, or when you've actually created Tibbers, that it sparks that memory of like, oh yeah, yikes. If you want the character inside people's heart, you have to build a backstory to let people be related to them. You're gonna feel connected to her in a different way. And I like her more. Now she's someone real. She's not pixels on the screen. I hope that players, when they watch this, it elicits a connection, an emotion to make you feel for her.